What is going on? We are in Arima Onsen. Super peaceful place down back that way in the main hub. There's like open little foot pools you can put your feet in. A couple sakura trees have bloomed which is like super cool. We're 20 minutes away doing like a river walk and if you can hear that there's like one long ass river that just runs down on like a decline which is like awesome. And Tony's getting her workout in. This is a little a little parque in a super residential place. We're gonna make our way back to the hub. Everything else down there is just like residential as and we're looking to get something to eat. They open at 5 30 so we got half hour to kill which will be our walk back and it's not bad we'll probably line up so we get in there first and then look at this pink building just one random ass pink building this town has some character the colors are what would you say about the colors the colors are like intriguing they they use like a whole spectrum of the palette it's not like just specifically beige and orange gray uh green yellow pink, yeah, pink. Yeah. yeah like have a look at these houses i'm genuinely so interested so in pink. all of the landscape around Just arima onsen one because it's not a big place at all two you have Just massive houses down pink. the river line like this and the walkway is so Just close to everyone's homes the trees are over the, like overhanging to the next level and yet there's so much life and the flowers and all of the effort that the community puts into their surrounding environment like here's a little cafe i'll pop my head through that hole and it's just like a house like where is the cafe and it's pretty much like this all the way up for the next half hour or so with that one apartment complex before being one of the biggest buildings that i've seen in arima so far and it's a super peaceful place the river runs on a decline, all of the trees are overhanging and it's just so interesting how... Imagine being like a property owner right there, you have a little slice of heaven. Right there when I'm pointing you can put your feet in these little foot pools. And I mean Arima is a special place, You, they do their own soda with the natural minerals and yada yada yada. I don't know, like the fizzy, fizzy from the ground. All this walking and now we need to do some eating. Time for dinner, time for dinner, we found a real nice quiet spot to see the scene for arima it's a pretty chill town that gets really busy during the day everything typically closes around 2 2 30. <laughs> we're walking down the main hub this is the first one we saw we're starving at this point and i thought you know what we're in for a chill night got a crate bottle of some japanese local beer and i never expected what will come next we had um <sighs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> Just had the most amazing time in Belgium, in Japan. Honestly, the amount of Belgian beers that they had, incredible. Kuroge corn beef, the skewers that they had, izakaya, lots of drink. Like, when it comes to <laughs> such an intimate dining experience like that, yeah. it makes me, it doesn't make me think like second, but it's like, Damn, I know I'm going to be spending a bag here. Mm. I just hope that I, 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 my expectations get met. Mm. And it's been two times now where they've gotten, gotten blown out of the water. Mm -hmm. A couple of the locals come as, as well, like through our dining experience, interacting with them, having fun. Mm. And they're just on their own vibe, bro. And Arima, everywhere else is closed, like no, nowhere is open for dinner. Okay, what is going on? This is our last night in Arima. Just pulled up to 7-Eleven, got some goods. Uh, like a hydration drink, Powerade, Japanese Powerade. Antonio got like a Freya Russia little ice cream. And this is part of the vibe. It's Monday today, so it's super quiet. You still have places that's like illuminated but super chill at dusk and so that's it had a super night yesterday mm -hmm. and then we went back for lunch originally we were supposed to go to that joint yesterday for lunch but we clocked in to the hotel i think 15 minutes before he closed so he does like a little little shift from 12 to 3 and then 
5.30 till late. We went for lunch and I got two bowls of extra large serving of homemade udon. Kare udon tonkatsu. The pork so perfectly breaded. Crispy with every bite, even drenched in that curry sauce. That place was just like the ultimate vibe. I'm real grateful that I went there last night because I was real hungry. I wanted like a like a, a pretty pretty generous portion didn't really get that at the last place and the last place was okay you know it was good and it was like i think i overrated it because i didn't eat anything the whole day <laughs> but that curry was thickened with starch it wasn't like like a solid substantial meal i'll say mm. but the vibe of that place was cool they were real real nice but then going there yesterday Oh my god, what an experience, eh? 10 out of 10, it's literally my favourite place in Anima. You have to go there, have to check them out if you come here. You have to check them out, honestly. And the little husband and wife duo, mm -hmm. they work so well together. And the food they're making is just insane. An unlimited amount of love for Belgian beer. So mm -hmm. we travelled to Belgium and Japan yesterday. And some of the meals, the skew was the sausage on a bone. It was Crazy. such a trippy one. I don't know if that's like common in Belgium or what, what the hell that was, but it's super delicious. Same as all the chicken meals mm -hmm. or the chicken skewers. Mm -hmm. Japanese black wagyu, little canapes, mm -hmm. corned beef, as well as um, tagliate. Tagliata. Was it thin cuts of kuroge mm -hmm. in uh, Italian style cut, served in like a Japanese acidic sauce yeah. with uh, onions and scallions and stuff wow so wow 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 and now in japan they love these stairs <laughs> but it's all good because we are at our hotel so one of the great things about this place is we're staying in the heart of arima i think we have the best place we literally do arima is like a little small little hub you lock the door. Okay, this is our room. Ignore the mess on the bed and stuff like that, but it's all good. We got that, got that. Nice little area. And we pan around. This is the bathroom. Super cool, super spacious. Little shower. La 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 la. And very much today. We got buck naked with the locals. We went into the onsen today and that was an experience. I truly, there was two different pools. I didn't get any content in there because I mean, everyone's naked. But the reception and everything, it's real easy to, to work, English friendly. You first like go into the onsen, give yourself a little wash. The first time I ever had like a sit down, little wash session. And that was pretty cool. That was interesting. And then you go into two different pools, one heated at 42 Celsius and the other heated at 44 Celsius. And it's like, the water is like, um, and, and not clear at all. It's like brown, hardcore brown, and you can't see anything. And it was, it was real weird getting buck naked. Like, not gonna lie, it was real weird, but I settled in pretty quickly. It's just like, uh, whatever, you know, it's like, whatever. But from a Western standpoint, I don't think people get butt naked that, <laughs> that often. But here's like a little sitting area. We got some more tatami mats right here. Nice and spongy. Got these. They haven't really been sitting watching TV like that. Been exploring. I love these. I absolutely love them. They're the same on this side as well. Pull them up. You can have a look. And we're overlooking the the main streets and stuff so yesterday was pumping crazy busy like you've never seen it before but we pull up outside and the weather's just been putting on a show for us eh? it has been really treating us there's the girl that's the onsen right oh yeah the onsen's literally right here so we're not even like a 20 second walk away and that place i was talking to you about is this building right here and we can get there by mm -hmm. This little nook yeah. right there. You walk down and then we're literally right there on their doorstep. And the onsen is pumping. It sounded like an amusement park before. When we went today, it was pretty chill. And then 
over that way, that big illuminated building. I'm pretty sure that's like an American style hotel. But you don't want to stay there. Look at look how far away it is. We're literally right here. In the heart of Arima. And Arima is not a big pay place at all. For like tourist activities and stuff. I think it's like a square. So it's like very much like boom, 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 boom. There's like a little uh, river bit there. And then there's like the bridge and stuff over that way. It's not big in the slices. It's not big. It's not big. It wasn't that hard to get to. The public transport has been on point. So we arrived yesterday, spent today, absolutely stuffing our faces. <laughs> there's heaps of like little places, heaps of places serving drink, heaps of places. Um, they do little dango. Ah, like right down here, literally right under us, is like a famous little dango joint. Yesterday on Sunday, packed, 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 packed. And then today we got to experience just chill and serenity i think that's it i think that's that's arima huh yeah. it's super old old people you just have to like experience what it has to offer and i'm actually real grateful that i got i chose this place we're literally in the mix like you've never seen it before it's not a super busy town or anything like that and with this outside sitting bit it's just like a real nice place to chill get away our place in Osaka was tiny, absolutely oh tiny. A lot different to Osaka. Osaka, we were on the move every single day. Boom, 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 boom. Had a big night yesterday. That guy cooks with a lot of passion. His wife. It's really cool seeing them work together as the team. Mm. So that what, their names are Rumi. Yas, Yas, and Rumi. The food was incredible. I can't believe how good the food was. I could go back there tonight. No, we're not going back there tonight. <laughs> We went there last night and we went there today. This morning. Got two massive bowls of kare udon. Oh, like I was saying, it was thickened. It was like such a deep and hearty curry. It was thickened with onions and, and uh, yes. carrots and just different root vegetables. Mm. And it had bits of meat in there as well. The udon was homemade, chewy, mm -hmm. f such soul food. And the tonkatsu was was as tender and lightly breaded, mm -hmm. but still a so strong crisp than anything I've ever yeah. tasted before. Yeah, the perfect. best. I told him if he finds himself in New Zealand, him and his wife, I told him he can find me and I'll cook for him. That's how much I enjoy that place today. Solid as, solid as guy, solid as. The we're like, should we, should we not? Yeah, we're thinking about it, we're like, nah, like, oh, we just ate, am I being, like, fat? I'm like, nah, 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 I feel like, like, indulging a little bit, and indulge, we done. If I find myself back in Arima, yeah. And with the Arima, you can do day trips as well. Day trips, I'm not sure if you want to do a day trip and then go into the onsen as well, because that knocks you out. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, um, an onsen's like a spa, it's like a bath spa, and it has, like, all these different minerals in the water that's why it's like brown mm. um, and your body absorbs it yeah it absorbs it and it re relaxes it and I was cycling through you know like the 42 44 and then having like a cold rinse probably done there like six seven times and I was faded I was absolutely cooked <laughs> at the end of it <laughs> is there anything that I'm missing out you can if you get, find yourself in Japan do a day trip to Arima just enjoy the vibe i reckon spend the night and then you can do an onsen and then you'll sleep all the the stresses away of not being able to speak japanese <laughs> and <laughs> trying to navigate the public transport yeah. <laughs> like it very much it overwhelms you and this is a nice place to to unplug and mm -hmm. just buzz off i booked a new um hotel for hiroshima and it looks so cool it looks so 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 cool so i'm real excited to travel around and just just kind of see what hiroshima the situation is with hiroshima mm. so that's how i'm gonna leave you right there so i'm gonna leave you all right there it wasn't even supposed to be a video but surely i can pull something from my ass and <laughs> make it a video so I'm gonna leave you all right there. Make sure you like it up, share to a friend, sub up. I'm in bloody Arima Onsen in Japan. We got we got one sakura tree that's bloomed. Okay, so make sure you <laughs> like it up, <laughs> especially <laughs> like it up, view it, view all the ads because uh, your boy needs to get paid so he can go on mini trips like this. Okay, what an incredible dining experience. Okay, I'll catch you on the next one.